Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our um, 12 days countdown to Christmas with our Shop Your Stash series that we have been doing. And yep, really, oops, really excited um, to come along and have a play with, I've shopped my stash um, today for these paper pads. Now, I mentioned these lovely paper pads um, some time back saying I had seen them on somebody else's channel and I was sent a paper pad, you know, the haberdashery paper pad. And would you believe I have been so lucky that I have actually received two of them now. So somebody else also sent me sent me one, which is absolutely awesome. Now, obviously, me being me, I've <laughs> I've hoarded them both. I mean, what is wrong with me? I've literally hoarded them both. So yeah, I've got them both here. Now, weirdly enough, they kind of seem a little bit um, different. They're yeah, I mean, I assume they're different brands. No, nope, they're the same brand as Paper Studio, but one has a different cover to the other one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just use this one, not for any particular reason, but just, yeah, I'm just going to use this one. Um, so let's kind of have a look and pick out a couple of the gorgeous papers. So, I mean, I've shown this pad before when I received, you know, the first one in Happy Mail and, um, yeah, when I received obviously the second one in Happy Mail, I couldn't believe it. In fact, I went to the cupboard and kind of checked because I thought, oh, perhaps they're different, um, pads, but you know, just with the same name, but no, they're the same pad. And um, yeah, because obviously I love them so much, I was just absolutely thrilled to have obviously received a second one. So I'm just going to go through. And what I'm looking for is basically, um, you know, a page or two that we can use with some stamps to make some pretty kind of embellishments. So I've got kind of here, like say a frame stamp here that I thought we could kind of just take some frame bits to make. So this page obviously with the chairs looks quite ideal for that type of thing. So I'm just going to tear that page out. And I also have bought along like a postcard stamp um, to make some postcards. So again, I'm kind of thinking this page looks quite ideal. Now, even though I've got two of these pads, I mean, I just love it so much. It's kind of um, ooh, hard for me to tear out the pages, to be honest. Um, but yes, I must stop being so ridiculous because, of course, you know, we, bu we buy these things to use. And, you know, of course, I've been lucky enough to be gifted these things. And I'm pretty sure that, again, these lovely ladies have sent them to me to use. So I'm going to, yeah, make an effort to, to use them. Right, okay. So I'm just flicking through just to check that there's not any others that, you know, are really kind of crying out to be be used in this video so um yeah just having a quick look I mean, how gorgeous is this i love this pattern so much it's just beautiful isn't it i just i really love um this craft colored paper you know for me this is kind of oh just really my type of thing so yeah i'm um literally kind of adore most of these papers to be honest they're absolutely gorgeous right Okay. Oh, this one's lovely too. Right. Okay. So I have made quite a good start. I've tore out, I've torn out, torn out quite a few here. So sorry, I've got stuff now dropping, dropping down on my desk that was there from earlier. So let me just move that back. Okay. Right. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So, <clears throat> yep, I've torn out a few. Now, my initial thoughts were obviously kind of to do some frames. And then, weirdly enough, when I just kind of went back through with you guys, do you know, I thought, actually, I think what I want to do is possibly have gold frames, like embossed. So I'm just now having a quick look, again, back through my stamps that I've got beside me. So just bear with me for two moments um, to see if I've got some other frame stamps that would just kind of be ideal to use with these. So I'm just quickly having a look. Sorry about this. I'm so sorry. I should have obviously done this first before coming on. But the thing was, this only just occurred to me when I was kind of flicking back through with you guys. So, um, yeah, I I have literally only just thought of doing this. Uh, right, so I've got another stamp there. It's very tiny, but, but hey, who knows? It might be okay. So I've got these ones as well, which... Hmm. Hmm. Just having a quick look. 
So let's, yeah, let's move the paper and kind of see which one we're going to use first. So to be fair, this was the one that I actually, you know, had that thought with the gold embossing. When I kind of came to this one, I thought, oh, this would look amazing with gold embossing. So yeah, let's do this one first. Never quite sure what way up this frame should be. I'm assuming that that way up, I think. Um, but I think it would actually look really good with these as well. So yeah, I'm going to do some of those as well. Right, let me grab my gold embossing powder in. Like I say, I mean, honestly, this only just really occurred to me, you know, now. Um, so in case you're thinking, oh, why, why is she, you know, not prepared? That's why. Uh, okay, do we want anything else? I've got my heat tool here because I've obviously moved it beside my desk. So hopefully we're going to be good to go. Now I'm going to use my Versamark um, ink pad. So I normally keep in my desk. Please don't think that has disappeared now. Okay, oh, come on, come on. Honestly, I always keep that in my desk, and uh, yeah, now that's now that's failing me too. So that's now gone missing. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry about this. You know when you come on and you think, oh, I'm going to be really organised for once, and um, you know, straight away then I'm letting the side down like on the first the first five minutes. Right, let me just see because I'm thinking, have I used it recently in something else? Quite possibly. Quite possibly I have. Um, hold on. It must be just here somewhere floating around. Oh, come on. No, I can't see it. Hold on. Okay, I've got it. It had fallen down the back of my desk. So, uh, yep, apologies for that. Right, okay. So, and I just also spotted um, another frame stamp, which is going to be, I think, quite nice to use. So I'll just grab this one as well. Right, now I'm wondering whether I should actually cut this down because I'm thinking it would just be easier to actually um, get to, you know, whilst I'm actually embossing it because otherwise it's a whole full sheet which is going to then be you know a little bit cumbersome when I'm kind of heat embossing so I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to just try and cut it along here like hopefully keeping the you know those pretty bits here intact so let's get those out the way for a moment right okay so let's go in with a couple of these Okay. So let's do this one first. Oops. I've never used this stamp before. So I guess this is another shopping moustache kind of item. I've had it for a while. No reason why I haven't used it really, other than I've just, I've been using the other stamps from the set and just, yeah, I haven't really kind of had an opportunity to use this one. But hey, it's just right up my street. So um, definitely, you know, fun to now be able to play with it. So let me grab some book page to put this onto. Okay. I always just really love um, the gold embossing powder, to be honest. I mean, I know lately... <laughs> I'm kind of hooked on gold. Um, but yeah, it always just looks awesome, doesn't it? The gold embossing powder. So, right, let's just blow that off. Um, please excuse the noise. My son's home. It's Saturday and um, he's playing his music downstairs. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. Right, let's just get this just kind of going off to the side here. Mainly so I wasn't blowing the other embossing powder around on the desk. But... I then thought, well, actually, I'm still not in frame. I'm no better than having it when I had it to the side of my desk. <clears throat> so I thought I'd better come back on in frame. Okay. There we go. Just go all around.
Hey, kidokey, right. There we go. <gasps> Doesn't that look gorgeous? I mean, I love a frame. Honestly, I really, really love a frame. So yeah, that looks really striking and beautiful on that black background, doesn't it? So let's do another one. Um, let's do this little one. So yeah, I don't think I've ever used this small one either before. Again, because often I buy the packs, you know, the um, like stamp sets for maybe one particular stamp or, you know, maybe like three stamps or something and there might be 10 on the pack. And then what happens is, of course, I don't really kind of ever much use the others. So, um, yeah, this is one of those, you know, that I've not really particularly used. But it's a really nice, nice stamp, actually. So now I'm like, oh, why haven't I used that? Okay, let's just... So, again, I'm just going to quickly emboss those. I thought I'd do two because... Um, yeah, just because I had enough room there to get two squash bins, so that was why. <laughs> okay. It looks like it's going quite quickly, so... Okay, there we go. Oh, they are yummy, aren't they? Absolutely love, love, love how they look. And then I'm just going to do that other one, which hopefully I've just got room for down the bottom. Ooh, what have I done with that other one? I have the postcard. Yep, that's still there. Oh, where's... Ah, oh, here we go. It's over there. So I'll just put this one down here. So again, just ink that up nicely. The Versamark um, ink pad, and you know, I always say this. I mean, I don't claim to be an expert or anything like that. I'm just kind of sharing, you know, my experience basically of what I have found when using it. So yeah, I'm not kind of meaning, oh, I'm sharing my experience because I'm so experienced. I just mean just sharing with you what I have found or noticed when I've used it. So the Versamark is a very wet pad. So, you know, it's really great for embossing, obviously, because it stays wet for a long time. Um, because some of them dry a little bit too quickly and then you wouldn't have time to emboss them, you know, or they're just not particularly, um, you know, inky in the first place. So that Versamark, and it's just that clear, clear Versamark ink pad that one watermark stamp pad and it's just a clear one um which the other thing of course with the clear is then you can stamp whatever color um powder you know that you like i mean you could do the reverse of that and buy color pads and clear embossing powder that also is another good option <clears throat> okay I mean, to be honest, I'm very, very basic with my um, embossing techniques. I'm, you know, seriously not claiming to be any kind of, you know, expert or anything like that. But I do like embossing. And even though I use it in its most basic form, I always love how it turns out. And, you know, why make it complicated when actually its basic form works perfectly well? You know, sometimes I just think we overcomplicate things for the sake of overcomplicating them. And actually, it's completely not necessary, is it? So, um, yeah. So, don't those frames look gorgeous? So, I mean, already I've instantly got some really yummy, scrumptious pieces to, you know, incorporate on tags or, you know, as clusters and things like that. So, let's put those to one side. I'm just going to put the lid on this for a minute, just, just because I'm pretty clumsy and I could end up dropping it. Okay, so let's move that out the way. So I'm having a look now to see the other, the other pieces that I've got here. So I've um, got this page here. Now this one, I was wondering whether I could do like the postcard stamp um, because it's a kind of blank postcard. So I'm thinking I could, you know, possibly get, sorry, got some gold kind of come off on there, possibly get quite a bit of that kind of background 
incorporated in this this postcard so yeah fingers crossed that this is going to work this stamp i often find doesn't work too brilliantly it's got to be said um i think it's one of those stamps that i need to obviously sand down but have yet to to do so right let's try and get plenty of ink on here i don't know whether i've ever used this one um you know with embossing powder i've got to say might not have even ever done this before with this one okay so i'm going to put this up here like that oh just kind of knocked it there for a minute right let's really try and press this in obviously like i say i mean i'm going to be going in with some embossing powder so it's not going to be you know in its naked form if you see what i mean but yeah okay well i mean it looks like it's made a good stamp there whether or not it has when i try and emboss it who knows but let's give it a go let's give it a go right so I've got like a line here so I'm just going to go in with my brush now unfortunately because that background page I can't really see too brilliantly you know what um you know what is meant to be on the stamp and what's just kind of picked up by mistake so just kind of winging a prayer type stuff here hoping I'm kind of guessing about right Ooh. Right, feeling nervous now. Oh, I feel nervous that I've mucked this one up. Right, let me just put this gold embossing powder back in here. Just before I emboss this, let me just pull my glasses on. I'm just going to kind of twist it to, to the light slightly because I can kind of then see a little bit more, you know, where that gold kind of like, not smudged, but you know what I mean, where it's not supposed to be. So... Right, let's go in and emboss that one then. Okay. just along here so I mean this is quite a good one because not only am I shopping my stash for the papers I'm also shopping my stash for the stamps so it's a kind of double whammy really you know I'm getting to use lots of things from my stash here which is really great right let me just check I've got everything on here Okay. okay right so I don't know whether you can see that very well but I mean obviously it's come out okay um obviously it's hard to pick it up you know on camera because the light's kind of catching it and then it looks like it's got no gold on but it has got gold all the way around it so hopefully you can kind of see that um so I'm quite happy with that to be honest it's you know it's quite nice I think um shall we do another one on this sheet so i've also got a smaller postcard so let's try the smaller one so that's this one here which is already on the um block i just leave this one on the block all the time so um yeah very um sloppy very sloppy crafting just leaving that on constantly on there but hey it does kind of seem to work so i'm just going to push that one down there I mean, like I say, you can use other colour embossing powders and things like that, you know. I mean, I just really love the gold. And to be honest, because I was using this haberdashery pad and papers, you know, I just felt like the gold was going to really complement it. And, um, you know, maybe other colours wouldn't have really done it justice. 
because it's a pad that I just love so much and I have of course been hoarding for the longest time so yeah I wanted to make sure I was going to use something that was going to look good right okay let's get rid of that <clears throat> quite finished hold on sorry because obviously this is now turned away from the light it's really hard to see okay so hopefully you can see you know again that one's kind of come out really quite nicely now obviously they're not really standing out that brilliantly here but what will happen is when I cut them out hopefully they're going to then you know stand out a lot better so I might just do one more on this sheet I'm wondering about this one here which is one of those lovely ads um you know the kind of Parisian type adverts because I think that would look really quite pretty on there so yeah let's try that one okay so again just cover that with the ink like that okay uh oh shall I do it oh I don't know I'm gonna do it over here I think so, and again, I'm just going to press that down with my block. So is it hopefully it's going to get the best, you know, best impression I can. Okay. Then just cover that with the embossing powder. I just can't see this one at all on here for some reason, which is a bit annoying. This is much finer lines on this particular stamp, so it's kind of like harder to see it in amongst the pattern on the background. So let's just pull that back and just pop the lid back on there for a moment. I'm just going to move it out the way. Okay, and then let's just... <clears throat> Again, I can't really see whether this is uh, doing it or not because of the light, but I'll just give it an extra, extra few seconds, which will hopefully kind of be enough to get it completely covered. Okay, nearly done. Okay. Oh my goodness, that one looks yummy. Hopefully you can see that. Again, obviously struggling to pick that up with the light, but oh, it looks absolutely gorgeous when the light catches that. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I mean, they look scrumptious, don't they? Right, let's just move them out of the way and um, we will just have a look and kind of see what else we could do. So if I just bring back like these ones, so I'm just going to take this one, for instance, and we'll just cut this one out. Now, I like to just cut around, you know, when it's a frame or something, I just kind of cut like jaggedy, you know, like in and out with my scissors. And then hopefully you're going to have some sort of, some sort of filigree kind of frame type appearance. And, you know, like I always say with these things, unless it's a circle, no one really knows what this frame looked like. So, you know, the only thing that really is painfully obvious if you cut it wrong is a circle, you know, maybe a square or something. But, you know, definitely not a frame like this. I mean, that looks perfectly fine, doesn't it? And, you know, my, my cutting methods were um, pretty, you know, off to say the least. So I'm just going to ink around the edge now. Again, that's, you know, really arguable whether I needed to do that because obviously it's the black page. But just, you know, put a little bit of that on there and it just kind of helps a little bit. Now, 
trying to see the other day, I dropped something on the desk. And it was one of those roses from the um, dreaded red kit. I'm hoping it's still floating around somewhere here because it's a really beautiful deep red. And um, I think it would just go perfectly on here. And of course now I can't see it anywhere. Hmm. That's annoying. because Yeah, it would have gone just so brilliantly well. You know, I think it would have looked really, really awesome on here. No, I'm not going to be able to find it. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Because I know that as soon as I finish this video, it will obviously appear. You know, as so often is the case. Let me just double check. Double check in case I've kind of moved it back or anything. I don't think I did. So it's definitely, you know, it's like dropped somewhere, obviously. Um, yeah, it's obviously dropped somewhere. Oh, how annoying is that? Yeah, that is annoying. Right. Okay, so obviously not going to not going to be using that. Um, but I just thought the red of those roses from that dreaded red kit would have looked so lovely on that frame. Because what a striking combination. That said, how gorgeous does that look? And to be honest, never in a million years would I have thought that that would have gone on there. But it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? So I'm just going to ink this up a bit again probably doesn't really need it and to be honest I'm probably dulling it down and making it look quite rubbish um but I've just done that just you know just to disguise rubbish cutting basically and then I'm just going to glue that on there so yeah let's just get that glued on down the bottom oops come on glue I haven't used my glue yet today and I topped it up ready you know, so that I didn't have problems. And of course now I am purely because I've not used it. Okay. Right, that's... Okie dokie. Like that. And, oh gosh, look at that wipe. I can't really use that on there, can I? Oh, now I can't see any gleam wipes. Oh dear. Sorry, sorry, very disorganised. Um, yeah, I'm sure if you watch my channel, you're used to me being pretty disorganised. I do apologise. How gorgeous does that look? I mean, to be honest, I don't feel like that needs anything else at all. It just looks ah, yummy, 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 doesn't it? You know, so what I'm thinking is like, imagine that on a tag, say, or something like that. So, I mean, more. Oh, I'm just going to look to see if I've got any. I mean, even like this paper which so let's just very quickly you know very quickly do something on that paper so I'm just going to stamp on the paper with some of this script stamp okay so we're just yeah I'm just going to get some oh sorry it's not script it's um oh sheet music get some of this put on there okay like that might as well go around the whole sheet and then I've got it for another you know for something else right let me put that stamp away and then maybe a little bit of swirly kind of pattern or something as well to just you know finish it off so yeah I'm thinking kind of this one and again just doing this in blacks really okay just so we've got some you know some interest in the background basically so yeah okay Oops. like that okie dokie right oh, I don't think that's going to look quite right on there to be honest so yeah unfortunately I'm going to probably have to backtrack now but what I was kind of thinking is you know if we cut this into just like a tag shape <clears throat> so I'll just take that a bit taller and do it across here 
and then I'll just cut it down at the bottom. I mean, to be honest, for some reason, it's just looking to me very Halloween-y, um, which obviously was not was not really the look that I was trying to achieve. Um, yeah, it's not really looking great, is it? Hmm. Right, I might need to glue that onto some sort of background page because it's very flimsy paper. So let me just pull in something else. Um, oh, and I'm not going to feel it very usable if I put it on that. So hold on. Oh dear. Oh, what if I use a bit of this in the background actually? Sorry, I've now gone off at a tangent. This was not supposed to be the purpose of this video. Um, but you know, got now waylaid. Waylaid with something else. That looks quite nice on there, doesn't it? I just need to back it, as I say, onto something. So let me just grab in some, some card. Oops. Okay. Just pop it down on here. <clears throat> and then I will cut it to a tag shape once it's glued down. So let me just glue that down. I can just hear my son coming out of his room. Um, we're going to go for a walk in a minute. So this is my eldest son because my younger son's at work today. And um, sorry for jogging the table. My daughter's at her dad's um, today. So yeah, my eldest son and I are going to go for a walk. It's been a lovely week all week. It's been, you know, one of those crisp cold weeks, um, you know, every day lovely and sunny crisp and cold really really nice today it's just a nothing day <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong that's preferable to a raining day obviously but it's just one of those drab days that's just literally doing nothing so it doesn't look really overly inviting to want to go out in or anything else but you know that said i feel like we do need to go and get some fresh air because um yeah we don't seem to really do much walking anymore and um you know, obviously it is good for you, isn't it? So, yeah, I think we should. I think we should go and do some some sort of walk and get some exercise. Right now, I'm just going to cut some um, corners on this as well. So one, two. It's definitely got the Halloween thing going on on this um, background, hasn't it? I think it's just the orange. Okay, so I'm just going to rough those edges up. Oh, I forgot that I've actually got my... I've, I made a point of bringing this up from downstairs. So I've got my Tim Holtz Distress Tool now. And um, it's been downstairs for like ages. So I've finally remembered to bring it up. And now, of course, I'm now forgetting to use it. So, yeah. Okay. So just to distress the edges of the tag okay now I'm going to ink the whole tag up because hopefully that's going to make it look a bit more a bit more vintage a bit less Halloween or it might just look vintage Halloween now who knows Best hurry up and finish up before he's calling me to come down ready for our walk. Right. Do we think like that or up higher? Just going to ink around here quickly. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, basically what I'm saying is, you know, if you do some pieces like this and just maybe attach some bows or, you know, like... I don't know, um, maybe like a flower or something like that. Basically, you've got then some ready-made pieces to put in your in your journals in the form of to go on pockets or to go on tags, you know, like as topper pieces. Um, you know, they're all kind of, sorry about this. I Sorry, dirty, dirty habit, wiping that on my hand. Um, it's just because I had no wipe accessible. Um, I hadn't dried any wipes off. So, yeah, I need to dry a load load more but um yeah if you kind of just 
do things like this you've got then some to you know to use ready to use now i'm just going to quickly before i finish here just having a quick look because i've got some of these vintage pictures um from one of my books and i'm just wondering oh gosh oval cutting that's always my worst nightmare well ovals and circles i mean they're kind of the same aren't they equally as bad i don't I don't prefer circles to ovals. I find them both equally awful to cut. So, yeah. Okie dokie. Right. So, yeah. I mean, that looks lovely now, doesn't it? So, I mean, obviously, I could have just left the um, frame on there. But the addition of that chap, it just, I don't know, takes it to the le next level, doesn't it, really? So let's just put him on there as well. So I'm just going to stick this down just with my glue. Okay. Oops. Like that. Okay. I really love the contrast of that big purple bow on there. I mean, strangely, yeah, I didn't really think that was going to look good, but it looks really good, doesn't it? So, and then we're going to just have this chap here. Do we want him over to the side or... I think, yeah, kind of like that. I mean, I could have put him in the frame you know, in the centre of the frame, but that just felt like it was a bit too obvious and, you know, a bit too obvious then just feels a bit boring, doesn't it? Why why put him where you expect to see him? Why not have him where we don't expect to see him? So, yep, he looks really good there. Now, I've just got this label. This is just laying around on my desk, so that's the only reason I'm trying it. Not because I necessarily think it's going to go, but I just thought, well, it's laying around. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that looks quite nice on there, doesn't it? So, just ink that up. Whoops. And then that can go... Oh, gosh. Do you know, my eyesight's so bad, I couldn't really see whether that was up the right way or not. Oh, I must be getting so old. It's just... Oh, scary. Scary, scary. Right. Just put that there. Like that and just squish that down and then we could finish this off with a bit of gold around the edges i don't think i've got my little brian paint sticks here now because i think i've put those away yeah i know very surprising oh but i have got some gold paint actually oh it's very orange isn't it i mean i've got very orange paint here which possibly was the same paint now now i think about it um hmm I don't know it might be too orange to be honest so yeah I think I'll leave that um I mean what I could do is actually put some purple round although that could make it look very Halloweeny again I just kind of stopped stopped it looking so Halloweeny I thought oh, perhaps I'll leave it I have got that um oh let's just quickly have a look <clears throat> seedless preserves oh, that looks really Okay, dusty corduroy. Uh, corduroy? No, Concord. That looks like it would be a better colour, doesn't it? Okay, right, let's have a try of this. So again, might just want to put it, you know, in one or two places, not like all over it. That looks really nice, doesn't it? So, yeah, really, really gorgeous. I don't know whether I would even bother with um, a tab on there. It looks really quite cute, I think, without a tab. You know, I don't know whether it necessarily needs one. Um, I did buy some sari silks recently. I've probably got some purple, but that might be might be a step too much. Let me just have a look. Hold on two moments. I'll pull it in. Oh, it might not be the right shade, actually. Now I'm having a look. No, I don't 
I think it is. Because it's very, very deep, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably a bit too deep, I think. So, no, 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 no. Right, so I will call it quits there. Um, but yeah, I mean, just get your stamps out, get your background papers out, you know, have a bit of fun and just, you know, emboss some pieces so you've just got some bits ready to use going forward in other projects. So, you know, really nice kind of very fast way to kind of embellish things. If you just kind of, you know, emboss a bunch of frames, emboss a bunch of postcards or, you know, whatever it is that you fancy doing with your background papers. And then, like I say, you know, you could put a bow on there, you could put a flower, you could just put, you know, some faces, some pictures, you know, things like that. Um, or you could just leave them as the embossed frames. I mean, you don't even have to cut them out. You could just have them ready to go here and then dig them out as and when you wanted to. But don't they just then make great little pieces, you know, and it came together so very quickly. So, yeah, I really hope that you like that sort of idea and, um, you know, that you're joining me with your shop, your stash in the countdown up to Christmas. And, yeah, have fun, everyone. I will see you guys soon. Thanks, Anne. Bye.